Hello, good morning my dear children. So today what I am going to make is uh, a kind of a fishnet. Uh, this is a very embossing fishnet. You can see in these two sides uh, I drew a nice cage of a sunset and also a night sky. And also from these two sides I drew a uh, fish and sea. Uh, because I feel like this is kind of a fish uh, net you can think whatever uh, an idea comes to your mind so first of all I will teach you how to make a piece of like this so uh, you have to take a cardboard even for this one I used a, 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 I think this is a, a, a cereal cup box and then I cut it out and then take the um, cardboard I need so first of all what you should have to do is you have to take the cardboard and then you have to uh, take your ruler first of all you have to mark uh, now um, in this one we need some uh, holes to uh, go through the uh, thread so for that you have to draw, you have to mark some points. The distance is 1 cm. Okay, so you have to keep your ruler. This is very simple. Don't think that this is very hard. You have to keep the ruler like this and then mark the points. Now here, the first point, the second point, the third point, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. And also you have to mark the ninth one but we are keeping the ninth point as the middle one and then again you have to keep the ruler again you have to mark now here we took eight points so one two three four five six seven eight even for this side you have to take similar eight points but don't count the middle point then it will uh, uh, it won't come as the baby need so uh, refuse the middle point and then start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have 8 points in this side and again another 8 point in this side again you have to take the same 8 points for this side and this side as well now you can see I have numbered all these points uh, like this from the beginning from the uh, end you can number it one even in here I have number it one even here it is number one number one and then you can come two three four five six seven eight like that so you will uh, you can at the end you can take uh, four eight points uh, near the middle point okay so here what we're going to do after marking like this with your ruler and after numbering like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you have to take a needle needle or some other maybe you can use a, a scissor point or uh, give it to your parent to make points to make holes so I have a plastic uh, needle here what I'm doing is I am making the holes like this and here it will be a little bit hard like this okay so you have to make the holes like this and I'm can uh, for all the four points you have to make the points now what you have to do is you uh, I'm going to use wool for this one if you don't have wool you can take a normal thread even if you don't have a big needle like if you don't have uh, a big needle like this you can use a small needle but uh, be careful when you are using the needle first of all you have to take the thread from the needle hole and then you have to start from the number one you can select any uh, side so you have to start 
the number 1 you took the thread out of the first hole and then turn it this side you can see the end you have to make some knots at the end to stop or to avoid coming from the hole Okay, I made a big knot here, you can see here and then I'm taking the thread like this and it is not coming, it is stuck in there. To secure this one, uh, you can put a tape as like this here, you can see I put a tape on the thread as well, then it won't come and um, after putting the, after, after putting the uh, tape you can turn it around again and then now you can see the first thread is here what you have to do is you have to select uh, whether you are going to complete this side or you are going to complete this side so I'm going to complete this side I started from number one and then I'm putting my uh, needle from number eight okay and then again turn it back you have to take the needle from number two okay be careful when you are taking the needle you should not take it from this side every time it should have to come near to the hole take it and then you have to now I didn't make the holes in here, I should have to make it first. Okay, now I'm going to put the number 2 needle on the number 7 hole. Okay, it came like this. And then again I'm taking the thread from number 3 and then putting again from number 6 again I'm taking the thread from number 4 and then putting from number 5 as like this, you have to complete all the holes. I will complete and show you. Okay, now I should have to take my needle from number 5 and then going through number 4. Again, I'm taking through number six and number three here. Again, from number seven and then number two. Okay, now uh, what happened? My thread is not. Uh, enough not long enough to take from here uh, so it is a mistake even when you are doing this one you have to take a little bit long thread and then you can complete up to eight so after completing again in here when the thread comes from here you have to secure the thread again from a knot and then you can put a tape as well then it won't come so we complete this one side if you would like to put another color for this side you can try that one as well now in here you can see I drew two sketches and some sketches are uh, from pen 
Now, before starting this one, what I did was I sketched what I wanted to sketch. And then after sketching, after making it nice, I started to weave this fishnet on top of the cardboard. So, uh, even if you are using a very tiny thread, uh, our normal thread uh, without wool, then you don't have to make a big hole like this. Okay, you can simply take your uh, needle and then needle hole is enough. So, um, you can change the colors or maybe you can take a multiple uh, color thread as well. Then it will give a very nice look. And also you can increase these numbers. Let's say if you take 20 holes into each side, you will take a very huge uh, wave very huge uh, weave on your cardboard and uh, believe me it is really interesting and it's really nice so i hope you enjoy the video and i hope you will try this one even if you make a mistake just write it to me just uh, post on your mistake then we can always learn from our mistake so try this one at home i hope you enjoyed it thank you my dear children have a nice day